Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm actually at home, it's Halloween, and I have my first day off work that I've ever asked for in like the three, four years I've been there. So anyways, I'm taking an opportunity to get stuff done, but I thought it'd be fun to just kind of share with you what I eat during the day here at home. And I just can't wait to get more in depth and show you what I eat like at work, you know, especially right now with UPS. We're getting ready to run into our peak season, so things are going to be busy, and I'm, you know, going to try to stay prepared and take you guys along with me and show you how I try to. All right, for breakfast, I am having oatmeal with a half of a green apple, about a quarter cup of raisins, cinnamon, almond milk, and a little bit of agave. I'm also going to put in some flax meal and some chia seeds. I prefer my oatmeal a little on the wet side just because I put these ingredients in there. But yeah, I always do try to do this every day. At least a tablespoon of chia seed and a tablespoon of flax seed. Get those omegas in there and lots and lots of fiber as well because of that. My oatmeal, I like to do overnight oats and then just heat it up the next day instead of doing it on the stove it's just i prefer that texture so i have to do a video of some of my favorite oatmeals that i like to make um i have made it on the stove before but i just i don't know what it is about the texture it makes it so much more slimier when you cook it on the stove and i've tried to use water i need to wean myself off of the almond milk because i know that it's just adding extra calories and I've tried it with water and I just can't get to liking it as much, but yeah, I'm going to do a video. Of, I got three oatmeals that I make that are like my favorite. This is probably top of my list, right? And then next would be like blueberries and bananas. That's really good. I do cinnamon and that as well. And then I also do one with um, dates and it's got like a caramel taste. So if you kind of like that caramel flavor and you could put some apple in there too so it'd be like a caramel apple but i'll do a video um of some of the oatmeals that i enjoy eating i've really gotten to where i eat it a lot more often than i used to and I, i've noticed that it definitely holds you for a long time i can eat oatmeal and probably be purely satisfied for about four hours mm. but this one is my favorite so much um, agave, I like using agave for my sweetener versus maple, and just because it has a, a low, um, glycemic index, and so yeah, very good. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, and I'll see you guys at lunch. I almost forgot. I did have this today, um, the Celsius. I really enjoy these. Uh, I do one a day, usually in the morning. And um, I use the powdered one because I have read online that the ones that are in the can, the sweetener is like more like an equal or a sweet and low. And the packets actually have stevia in them. So I switched over from the cans over to the packets because of it having stevia. All right, so I am hungry and it's kind of lunch slash dinner. But I'm going to go ahead and air fry some sweet potato. And I already have some non-starchy vegetables already in the fridge. But I'll show you what I make with this. Um, I'm telling you what. I have the best recipe for sweet potatoes. <laughs> I'm going to share that with you right now. So instead of oil, I'm going to use water to wet them here. I'm going to drain it as well, but I can only do that with one hand. <laughs> so here's the two spices I use. I use chili powder and garlic powder and simply just sprinkle it on. Let me switch over to the other side. Comes out a little easier. I'm pretty generous with the seasoning here so all right so there's some chili let's get some 
garlic. All right, and then simply just take this and toss it. Or take a spoon and stir it, but basically coat all your pieces. All right, and then just put it in the air fryer if you have one. If you don't, they are a must have. But I'm gonna just level it out here, even it out. And then we're gonna do, let's see, 400. And it's set for 15 minutes, but I usually check it around 10 just to see. All right, so I made this last week. It is some squash and zucchini with some balsamic vinegar glaze. I made it in my air fryer. So I'm gonna have this alongside of my sweet potatoes. All right, so it's been in for about 11 minutes. I'll check it, make sure it's not sticking. It looks good, it smells delicious here. So some of those big pieces are almost done. It might get to where it's starting to look like it's burning, but it's not. I think it's the chili powder that kind of does that, but anyways, looks good. Not sticking too bad. It's almost done. All right, this is the ultimate topping for this. Don't knock it till you try it, but barbecue sauce over these is absolutely delicious. I try not to use too much just because of the calories, but... It's pretty clean barbecue sauce. There's no oil in it. Um, made of like simple natural ingredients. Let me show you. All right, there's the ingredient list. But yeah, I like this brand. All right, there we go. I got my non-starchy vegetables and my sweet potato. So that's what a 50-50 plate looks like. And yeah, let's go ahead and taste it up. I'm gonna drink a water bottle here with it, but I'm gonna start with my non-starchy vegetables, try to eat them up, but I know these are good. Mm. Balsamic vinegar. It's like one of your most flavorful ingredient, like sauces you can use to flavor your food. So good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's try this uh, sweet potato. I already know this is good. I used to actually make these with oil before, olive oil, and then I took it out and I see no difference at all. But, mm, that's so good. Very good. Give that a try. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Mm, I'll see you at dinner time. All right. I guess that shows exactly how delicious it was. And I also drank my entire bottle of water. Ooh, I'm gonna be full for a while. <laughs> All right, so I'm not actually gonna eat yet, but I wanted to show you, I'm getting ready to steam a whole basket of potatoes in my air fryer. Um, the family's gonna have some with their dinner, but I always like to do a little bit of meal prep for the week um, just to have it. Uh, and I can put it in the microwave. But the other nice thing about it is I, I like putting these in the potatoes. I mash them and then put them in the air fryer. And then, anyways, let me show you what kind they are. So I get these at Sam's Club and they're actually on a special this month. They're like $6 and some change, but this is the whole bag of them right here. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cook a basket up. I can eat off this for a couple days. Also, I picked up an acorn squash today. I know, crazy. I've never had it, but I've seen so many people eating it in their videos lately. And so, I figured I'd give it a try. So, don't judge because I don't even know how to cook it. I just know I slice it up and put it in on a pan and put it in the oven. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to season it. I'm going to hold off on the seasoning until after I try it by itself to see um, what kind of seasoning I want to put on it. All right, here we go. I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes, 400. And like I said, I didn't get fancy. I'm just going to cook it like it is and determine what kind of flavoring I would want to put on it. But let me know in the comments below if you like acorn squash and what, you know, what seasoning do you put on it. So I wouldn't mind trying other variations. So my potatoes are done. 
they're absolutely perfect. I just put them in the fridge just like this, right in this container because when you put it in plastic or in a container that seals, they become mushy. But keeping them like this, I love it, it's perfect. All right, now I'm gonna cook some corn in my Instant Pot. It only takes a minute and I hear my timer going off. Let's do, let's see, cancel, manual, and then one minute actually. Oop, one minute. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look in here. They don't, ooh, sorry. All right, so I went ahead and flipped them over. I'm gonna let them cook for another, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe. Some of the smaller ones, like that one right there, definitely feels soft, but I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. All right, so for dinner, I went ahead and took some of the cream potatoes and I diced them up. This isn't all for me. Um, the family's gonna have some too, but I like them crispy. I like them twice baked, if you will. Um, sometimes I'll take and mash them. I'll take like a, uh, a cup, a bottom of a cup, like a heavy cup and mash it. That's really good, but I went ahead and diced them. And then I probably will use Dijon mustard or whatever, mustard, something like that. So the corn is done. I like cooking it in my Instant Pot. What do you think, Trixie? Hey, you girl. Anyways, yeah, so we got that already. I want to take this out because I'm going to actually put in some broccoli now. I'm trying to cook my vegetables so then I can just kind of grab and go. So something else I like to really cook in my Instant Pot is broccoli. Because literally you put it on and you put your time on zero. And it's done, so I'm cooking a big batch so I can put that in the fridge. All right, so the egg corn squash, I took a little piece out because it was kind of getting crispy. Looks good. I'm gonna try it, first time ever. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm gonna try it. It's pretty good. I did find out I don't like butternut squash, but that's good, I, I can eat that. What would you uh, season that with? I didn't season it with anything because I wanted to see what it naturally tasted like. Mm. I don't really care for it. Really? Yeah. Mm. I like it. You have to like give me a, some seasoning some ideas. Kind of maybe nutmeg or a nutmeg or yeah. Maybe if you're like I mean, even cinnamon. Pie, uh -huh. Make like a pumpkin pie. Like I guess it could have cooked longer because the skin is like. I don't know. I like it. It's pretty good. I like it better than nutmeg for sure. I mean, butternut. butternut. That's how I like my potatoes. I like them crunchy. So I think I'm going to have these and I'm just going to have some of the broccoli. And I'm going to let these cool, but they're done. Pork tender. They're going to be delicious at some point this week. <laughs> Here's what I ended up with. I got my broccoli with some nutritional yeast on it. Love nutritional yeast, actually. And I just went with plain mustard this time with the uh, potatoes. And that is dinner. So I made two lunches and or breakfast I with the leftover broccoli. And then I used the acorn squash. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna do that and some munchies. And so I wanted to share the vitamin that I take, um, the B12 vitamin. It's got other vitamins in it as well, but um, it's Vegan Essentials, and I'll leave a link down below. I really like this because it's liquid. You can put it in water if you want, um, or like I do, I just take the lid off and I take it right out of it. And yeah, it's pretty strong, but you get used to it. Um, you know, B12, you definitely want to put it in liquid form or leave it under your tongue if you're doing like a pill, you know, something like that. Make sure that your body um, takes it in. But I just wanted to share what I use. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, I was going to add today is actually Halloween. And my daughter and I bought those shirts at the Halloween store local here. We got match ones. So I thought they were cute. I've been able to wear it a few times. North Carolina is a little bit warm. So 
<clears throat> anyways and then like right now it is actually like a torrential downpour so the little trick-or-treaters that are coming up we've only had a few i've given them like handfuls of candy <laughs> i may not always provide like a recipe for you um it just worked out well that way because i'm home but uh yeah things are gonna get busy and i'm probably just mostly gonna do like meal prep like bulk of everything and then just have it in the fridge to kind of throw together if that makes sense i'm not really gonna make meals i'm just gonna meal prep a bunch of stuff like vegetables rice um potatoes things like that so and i meant to add that i'm also going to drink this bottle of water i haven't done good with my water today uh i think fluid wise i've only had i don't even think i've had 64 ounces so i do better at work i don't know why but i have a cup that i use you know and so anyways i'm gonna drink that and yeah, I think that's gonna end it in today's video. I don't think I'm gonna eat anymore because it's literally 7.30 and I got to go to bed. I usually go to bed between eight and nine, just depending how tired I feel, but I'm gonna get the kitchen cleaned up from everything that we cooked. But yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video and stay tuned for another one.